Hello, I am Jen Nelson, Healing Rebel. Welcome to this week's podcast. If you can, can you like, share, follow, make sure you're subscribing from whatever platform that you are listening to this on because that's why the, you know, that's why, that's how the, the algorithm, the social media lords see that this is valuable information. And obviously only do that if you find that today's kit podcast is valuable information. In today's episode I am going to be talking to you about the shoulds that we tell ourselves that we think we should be doing and how we can get ourselves into a right little tizzy and feel very anxious and overwhelmed and actually expend a whole lot more energy in a state of I should be doing, I should be doing, I should be doing than actually going and doing. Last week, I had the Tyler come in to give me a quote for tiling my bathroom. And that was at 11 o'clock in the morning. And then Chris was going to be finishing work at about two. And I had to go over to the other side of Glasgow to return stuff to a shop. And I needed the car, so I had to wait for Chris to come home. Now, because I had these things at random points in my day, there was chunks of hours before the Tyler came. There was chunks of hours after the Tyler came, before Chris came home. And then there was a whole chunk of evening at the end of the day. But I somehow managed to <laughs> sit on the sofa, freaking out, thinking I should be going out for a walk because I need to get out for a walk because I need to get some time outside. But then I also need to do this and then I need to do that and I need to eat something. And I really should get some more of that course that I'm working on done and I should record a podcast and I should do this and I should do that. And I spent so much time in my head thinking of all the things that I should be doing. I didn't get any of them done. By the time Chris came home from work, I was wound up like a coil ready to explode. To, and I just got the car and went away to deliver, to return the stuff so that at least one of those things was done but I just needed to get out the house but had I gone, like I live across the road from the park for me to go up and do a full lap of the park it's half an hour I could have gone up and done half the park or a quarter of the park because there's paths all the way around that you don't have to do the full circuit I could have done all those things but instead I sat winding myself up, having this conversation of I should, I should, I should, and I didn't. And there's a whole lot of energy and a whole lot of negativity building up in the system. And I wonder how often do other people do that? Certainly people I speak to tell me similar stories when I share mine. I'm like, oh, I'm nuts. This is what I did. And you make yourself feel so much worse instead of here are all the things I should do. Which one of these things can I do right now, even if it's only for a minute or two minutes or five minutes or 20 minutes, whatever the, the time period that you have available realistically to do it. Last night, I it was Wednesday, there was a... On a Wednesday night, there's a paddleboard social at Auchinstari that goes out. And last year, I went as many weeks as I possibly could. Absolutely love it because you get to be around people. You can chat as much as you want or not chat as much as you want. You're out on the water. You're in nature. There's lots of greenery. There's lots of quiet. It's really peaceful. You're doing a little bit of movement. I feel amazing when you come back. Just feel so chilled. And happy with yourself that you've taken that time to go and do this. And last night was only the second time in 2024. Keeping in mind it's what the 17th of July today? 18th? 18th of July that I'm recording this? Something like that. It was only the second time that I had been out on my paddleboard this year. Now a lot of that was to do with weather. Because it's been very, very windy this year. Some of it has been I haven't had access to the car because Chris sometimes works but also there have been times where I've just forgotten it's Wednesday or oh, 
not really got time to go, which is nonsense because I'm self-employed. I set when my schedule is. I have intentionally not put a class in or signed up for anything else on a Wednesday night so that I can go to these paddleboard socials. And at five o'clock last night, I was, oh, maybe I'll not bother going. Oh, I can't be bothered. I'm not sure I've really got time for this tonight. I've got other things I should be doing that are work-related and I had been doing work stuff all day. And then I had that remembrance of the previous week and went, no, have your dinner right now and get out of this house by half past five. Go over there, get your board set up and get on the water. Just do it because you will feel better for it. And I did feel better for it. I am so grateful to me. And this is something that one of my friends always says, will tomorrow you be grateful? Will future you be grateful for the actions that you've taken today? And future me is very grateful that I went out for that paddleboard last night. I had a 10 hour sleep after I came back because I hadn't been scrolling on screens. I hadn't been watching anything on screens. My mind was just concentrating on the paddling being in nature, just being chill and then I came home and by the time I came home I'd stopped at the shop, came in, got myself, started getting ready for bed, was in bed for maybe half nine and I woke up at twenty past eight and I know I didn't read for very long when I, when I went to bed because I still haven't finished the book that I'm reading and there's only like 15 pages left um, and yeah when, and when I woke up felt refreshed I didn't feel sluggish or lethargic I just woke up and I was like oh, I've had a really good sleep looked at the clock 8 21 amazing right let's get up and go on with the day so future me has been very grateful for the actions that I took yesterday for how I feel today so always think when you're in that I should I should I should and you're paralyzing yourself and not doing anything what is the one action that you can take that future you is going to be happy about? That's going to thank you for making this decision in this moment? What is that action? Now obviously I can thank myself for having that very anxious day last week because it's given me a topic of conversation for my podcast. But I didn't feel good at the time and I didn't feel good for the few days after it. In hindsight, this future me is a little bit grateful but past me would have been more grateful had I actually gone out for the body walk and some of the shoulds we don't actually have to do right there are if I'm self-employed there is always a to-do list there's all these things I should do for my business to help my business move forward to help my business grow and sometimes it's okay to just not do that thing if it means that you're going to burn out, if it means that you are just doing it to tick off another thing from your list, yes, by all means, have intentional action, have intentional productivity time. But if you're thinking, I'm just going to get this other task done and it's going to take you five minutes and actually it takes you an hour because nothing takes five minutes, then does it really need to be done? Last week I didn't send out any emails to my email list because my head just wasn't in the right space. And if I had sat down and written emails and put them out, they would have been I would, would have been doing them just for the sake of doing them. And it wouldn't have given anybody any value. It would have added three extra tasks that don't just take five minutes to write that email. It takes an hour or more per email by the time I work out what it is I want to say, what videos I need to attach to it, what images I need want to bring in, etc, etc. So I just didn't do them last week and that's okay that is okay because this week I've gone back to them and I've done them and it's fine nobody dies it's okay so really think about what is on your list what 100% needs done what 100% needs done by you can you delegate any of that stuff is any of the stuff really stressing you out and if something has been on your list and keeps getting moved forward and forward and forward day by day then maybe it's something that doesn't really need to be done because there's a reason. I talk about this in my book, Nine Rules to Sort Your Shit, about procrastination. Sometimes we procrastinate on things because they're things that we don't actually need or want to do, but we think we should do. There's that wonderful word, should again. We're all about the shoulds today. 
look at your lists of things that are there and if there is that thing that's been following you day by day that you just keep ignoring, putting off, procrastinating on, is there a reason, that, what is the reason that you're procrastinating on it? If you can't do the task, then you need to get somebody else in to do it. If you don't want to do the task, you can get somebody else in to do it. If you don't need to do the task, can you just ditch it? If you really need to do that task, then you need to find a way to get it done. That is my opinion. I would love to know what you think about this. If you have any insights, if you had any aha moments, if you've listened to this and thought, such and such needs to hear this, can you please share that to them? So if there has been value in this today for you, remember, like, follow, share, subscribe, whatever platform you're on, send me a comment if you're watching this on YouTube or in Spotify because there's a wee bit that you can do that or whatever it is you listen. Send me your thoughts, I would love to hear them. And next week's podcast is an interview that I've just recorded with my friend Carrie who is Sage in the Sky and we're going to talk things, spirituality and tarot and Reiki and meditation and hear about Carrie's journey and how she got into this. I had goosebumps when she was telling me her story and I was also having childhood memories myself of, oh yeah, I remember that as well. But you need to tune in next week to listen to it so make sure that you do and I will see you on the next podcast.